Hello guys, this is Saad and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be telling you how to fix updating issues with executors, for example, Synapse X and it's showing an error which says to update it. This is what the error looks like. So it says Synapse X is not currently updated, please wait for an update to your release. A lot of people requested me to make a video on this and finally today I have decided to make a video on this and usually this error should resolve by itself but sometimes it doesn't so I'll help you to fix it. So I just wanted to tell you some basic information about this error. After some research I have known that this error usually appears on Wednesday or Thursday and it varies from region to region. Uh, usually depends on which region you live and at that time you receive this error either on Wednesday or Thursday and this error usually should resolve within a few hours for example about one to three hours and uh, if it doesn't resolve which means that the admin usually is busy or working on something else so it could take maybe like one day or maybe a few days so usually it does solve by itself but now I'm gonna show you how to fix this error if it's not resolving but it's not 100% it, it will work but I'll try my best to help you guys so first of all what you can try is that you can try to reinstall the executor to do so just go to your settings and just type in settings in the search bar and hit enter on your keyboard so over here you'll see this option which says apps you'll have to click on it and now you can see these apps over here what you can do is that you can go to the list over here you can just search over here just search over here Synapse X and for some people it may not appear over here for example for me it didn't really appear over here so if you have a similar case like me what you can do is that you can just close this and you can go to control panel so just note for some people it may appear over there it depends on the version of the Synapse X and for you if it, did, if it did appear over there you can just uninstall it from there but if it didn't appear for you you can just go to your control panel so you can click on this option over here which says uninstall a program so what you can do is that you can just scroll over here and find it and you can even search it over here so this can be for any other executor also for example jjsploit you can just search it over here and you can uninstall from here just right click on it and then click on uninstall but for our case you can see the, J uh, the sign fx sorry is over here and it's not showing over here neither in the settings so what you can do is that in my case if you have Synapse X you can just drag all the files or the whole folder into the recycle bin and they should just clean it up so if you have any other executor what you can do is that you can just delete it from the control panel or from the settings but if you have Synapse X you can just select the whole folder or all the files you can just drag it in the recycle bin so I told you the ways for any other executor or for Synapse X2 so now as you can see you can just empty the recycle bin so now what you have to do is that you have to first of all go to your settings and you have to turn off your antivirus because if you don't turn off your antivirus your Synapse X or even your JJSploit or any other executor it will show an error that it has a virus and usually they don't have a virus but it will just show an error so you'll have to come to your settings and now you'll have to click on update and security over there you'll see this option over here which says windows security you'll have to click on it and there will be this option which says virus and threat protection just click on it now you'll have to just scroll down and you'll see this option which says virus and threat protection settings just click on manage settings and over here you'll see this bar over here which says off as i have already turned my antivirus off so you don't have to keep it off forever you can just turn it off by just clicking it over here and you see it is off now so you can just un uh, like install the Synapse X and then you can turn it on again it doesn't matter but when you need Synapse X you will have to turn it off so that you can install Synapse X and run it or else it will show an error so now you'll have to, to do install it what you have to do you can e either use Firefox but don't use Chrome and sometimes Firefox also blocks your installation file so what you can do is that you can just go to the search and type in edge 
you can just use Microsoft Edge or you can if you have it on your desktop somewhere over here you can just uh, access it from there so I'll just search it up and I'll open it so you'll have to come on Edge and over here you'll have to just type in Synapse X download so just type in Synapse X download and now you'll have to just click on the first option which just say sign up x download roblox and you'll see their website over here you'll have to just click on it and now you'll see this option on the top right which says download you can click on it and you'll have to just click on this option again download and you'll see your file on the bottom just click on save and now you can click on view downloads or you can even click on open folder so so as you can see for me the file is in my downloads so now you can just track it on your desktop and you'll see the file over here so now you can just open it and just be careful that if you didn't turn off your antivirus you can't download it so just click on the second option the exe file and now you'll have to click on ok and the SignFX should be downloaded soon so guys for me it's showing me this error which says fail to download launcher file and check your firewall and AV so I was just kind of confused but then I noticed that my 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 windows antivirus just automatically turned on by itself so just wanted to tell you guys too that if you see this error while downloading your SignFX after clicking on OK and then this is because your antivirus just turned on by itself because usually this is automatically it just turns on to keep your laptop or pc secure so what you can do is that you can just if you see this error just turn it just go to your settings just turn it off and then you can now again just close it and then click on ok and then again just go to your zip file and click on this option over here and now finally so guys another thing which I wanted to tell you and is really important is that these files over here before running them you'll have to extract them in a separate folder or in your desktop. So to do so you can just create a new folder over here just right click click on new and you can create a folder. But for just right now to just to save time I'll just drag them on the desktop because guys if you just click it from here and it will not run it will show you an error which will say that it can't be run from the zip file so you'll have to just check it on your desktop and then you'll have to click on it and then you'll have to run it click on ok and they should install you can see these files over here which just came that it has been installed now um, if you would have not extracted on your desktop it would have given you an error and as you can see it is working now just to tell you that if you just to save you from getting that error I just told you about this right now so I hope reinstalling the executor would have helped you but if still this error is not resolved what you can do is that you can either just close this your executor synapse x and then restart it again what you can even try doing is that you can just restart your computer or your PC from here and what you can again try doing is that you can just go to your settings and then you can just check for any updates on your PC. This could also be a Windows problem or any pending updates. You can just click on update and security. Due to any pending updates, uh, you can just click on check for updates and this should check for any updates. So due to any pending updates, your, there could be a Windows error or any windows problem that should be solved after you uh, install the updates and if this problem is still not solved for you this could be a uh, update by the admin and you may have to wait some time and after you install the updates by the admin this problem should be solved and I hope this tutorial would have helped you and for more similar videos like this you can subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, peace out.